Hi, I'm Wendy Keller from Keller Media in Malibu. I've been a literary agent for more than 20 years, and I've been responsible for more than 800 rights deals all over the world. I've sold bestsellers. I've sold people whose books you probably have on your shelf at home. I'm here today to give you the three best tips about writing an excellent query letter, whether it's paper or email, and sending it to the agent of your dreams so that you get the representation you deserve. In order to get a query letter into an agent's mind, you have to be very distinctive. Some people do really creepy things. I have gotten bouquets of flowers with the query letter tucked in. I've gotten checks that say, if you promise to uh, represent me, you can cash this check. I've gotten cash, I've gotten gift certificates, and e. the worst case is one time, there was some guy who was stationed on a ship in China out in an oil digging derrick, oil rig, and he tried to get me to read his material. I turned it down unopened because it's not our kind of stuff. So he sent it back to me with lingerie. And for you women watching this, let me tell you, his worst mistake is, it was a beautiful piece of silk, hand-painted, but it was in size XXL. It could have fit three of me in it. I didn't want to represent that guy. No, thank you. <laughs> so if you're going to write something, don't rely on gimmicks. Just do it right from the top. So how do you write a compelling, effective, fascinating query letter that will get the agents on their knees begging for the chance to represent you? First of all, be clear. Talk about what you want to write. I had a query come in last week. It was 13 pages long. The guy spent a page and a half telling me why it had to be a 13 page long query letter, even though he knows I expect them to be 400 words or less. <clears throat> okay, so what you're going to say first, if it's nonfiction, is what your credentials are for writing it or how big the market is. It could be 2.6 million people have this disease and my book talks about the strategies I use to overcome it. Or it could be there are only two people in this country who have the information crucial to overcoming this specific disease. We both work in my laboratory and I am one of them and I am the world's leading expert on X. Or it could be I have an infomercial, or I have a television program, or a syndicated radio show. We got a query last week from some young woman who said, I am the number one blogger in the country for women who are within five years of their college graduation. So in other words, they graduate and then that five-year window, she's the number one blogger. Yeah, I'm interested because she's got a market and she can identify it. That answers my question, who's going to buy this book? The next thing you need to do is be succinct, and I mean tight. I want to see 400, 500 words to make a yes or no, because I can't decide from a query anyway. I'm going to invite your proposal or your manuscript once I see that query. The next thing is to be very clear. Once you've identified either your credibility, if you have it, or the audience if you don't have so much credibility, give me one or two sentences about your material, specifically what it is. My book solves this problem for these people in these ways. I have five points that teach people how to become successful authors. That's the answer. That's it. That's the tagline. That's all I need to know. And then you've got to end with a clear, concise close. You don't write an agent, a professional, and say, if you had a brain in your head, you would represent me because I'm going to be a New York Times bestseller, and you're an idiot if you don't recognize it. That happens several times a month. I wish I was kidding. You also don't want to be saying, well, my grandmother said this is fantastic, or my psychic said I was going to be a best-selling author. None of that stuff. You're a professional. At least play one on TV and write. Thank you. I look forward to sending you my material. Here's my contact information. Bye-bye. That's the end of it. And then send it to 30 agents, wait to see if we respond to it, and then follow up from there. But I got something to tell you. Agents make their money on commission. We're straight commission salespeople. If you send it to 30 agents who have sold and are selling material like yours, and nobody wants to see your content, your query letter sucks. You're going to have to rewrite it and send it out again to those agents, because believe me, we don't remember anything five minutes later when it comes to queries, or to a whole new group of agents who have sold and are selling books like yours. But if agents look at it and they request your book, if it's fiction, your whole book, it, or if it's a memoir, or if they request your proposal, if it's a nonfiction book, and no one will represent you, 
guess what? Your material needs to be reworked and your platform needs to be built. I have a bunch of stuff on my website to help you with that, kellermedia.com. And if you're really interested in moving fast, go to famefinders.com, F-A-M-E, finders, F-I-N-D-E-R-S.com. We'll be glad to help you. Get started, get your query put together, and get yourself a publication deal. I want to see your book on the shelf next year. Thanks for listening.